Now this right here is something very special and very unique. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back to the channel for our first look at Outpost Infinity Siege, a game that combines real-time strategy and first-person shooter elements together into a very interesting turret defense slash base building simulator, or I guess first-person shooter game or strategy game, whatever you want to call it, it certainly is an interesting mix and this is the type of genre I want to see a hell of a lot more of. We well, can get this game with the link down below in the description and this game is out now and thank you again to the makers of Outpost Infinity Siege for sending over a key so we can take a first look at it and also for sponsoring today's video. Now this game has a lot to do with robots and AI and the end of the world and the story is actually quite well put together and of course uh, has a lot to do with uh, well humans fighting for survival against robots. Where have I heard that before? Well it's not anything new in terms of its story but again this FPS RTS genre I really want to thrive. There's quite a few games out there actually that are just like this and um but there's not enough, and I hope to see more. So Outpost Infinity Siege is certainly within the type of mixed genre that I really want to see more of, and has a lot of cool style to it, as well as an interesting setting. Well, without further ado, thank you very much, by the way, to all of you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for leaving a like, too, and thank you very much for spamming that glory to Raptoria down below in the comments section if you made it this far into the video. And let it also be known that this game is co-op, too, so you can play it with a friend if you get it for yourself. Right, well let's go ahead and take our first look at Outpost Infinity Siege, see what it's all about, play through a few missions, and get our first taste at all the action. Let's go! It's over. AI won. In the end, our pride and avarice was to be our downfall. Humanity now cowers in the shadow of its own creations. Fighting tooth and nail just to survive. Our once proud civilization now in ruins. And freedom seems like a fleeting pipe dream. And yet, when evil reigns supreme, heroes rise up in defiance. They are the glimmer of hope within the encroaching darkness. And I am proud to call them my brothers. Starfall is now entering the final phase. All outposts, prepare for battle. Fight to the end, for our deeds shall echo in eternity. Cannon is deploying. Outpost 5 deployed to the front lines. I'll head over now. Cooper, I need you to take a detour. There's an unknown beacon up ahead. I need you to take a look. This operation is far too important for any errors. Roger that. Ooh, that's a big old gun right there. <laughs> All right, we're part of Outpost 5, and we're going to be defending this EUA base from uh, a final enemy attack. So that giant orbital cannon there should be able to, uh, I guess, hold the enemy back. There's the orbital strike cannon, the pre-war LEO defense system. So we just landed here at the EUA base, which I think is Earth United Army, and this is our... Well, all of humanity's last stand against rogue AI and robots that uh, want us dead. So let's head towards target Z1, and we'll uh, roll out there. But yeah, look at this. Real stylish already. Got a lot of parts here. Go get them, boys. Air Force is out in full force. Cooper, it's been a while. Just try to keep up, Matt. I'll be there when your ass needs to be saved. So we're in logistics uh, outpost number four. They're bringing in a ton of supplies for us. Oh, looks like we're going to be going up here towards Z1. Sir, the beacon is up ahead. Roger that. So we're going to go find some beacons. Looks like the uh, robots might be trying to encroach upon our base and either uh, sabotage our stuff or spy on us. we got to go kick some uh, robot ass. So let's go do that. And I think we're here. Yeah. Unknown beacon detected. Requesting instructions. You got it. Something's wrong, Cooper. This area should have been cleared before the operation. 
Oh, you're right. We got a dead trooper here. Robots are certainly here looking for somebody or something. Oh, lots of stuff laying around. Whoa, they wiped out a whole squad? This is very bad. Uh, let's not waste any more time. What happened? Go check it out. Heading there now. This looks like a door here. No fall damage. All right. Woo! Nice. Ground looks nice. Love the look of the base. Grab some ammo. While holding tab, use your mouse to select an item and release tab to equip. Okay. Oh, we need to uh, click. Uh, press G to use the selected item. This is an ammo crate. Nice. And surprise, surprise, we got some ammo from that. All right, let's go on to uh, Zulu 2. Oh. Levi, the explosion just blocked my path. The OSC is already deployed. There's no time to clean up. Search nearby for something that can get you through the obstacle. I'll make sure our guys are on full alert. A core gun? We can handle more than a little hostile firepower. Weapon prototype. Uh, you found a core gun. You can swap it out either by dragging or double clicking. Each gun features its own unique effects and Zen recipes. All right, beat open the backpack. We're going to be switching out our previous gun, which is the basic core gun, with the cavalry core gun. I can use the slingshot Zen to go over the obstacle. And that's exactly what we want to use. Then press two to switch to the slingshot Zen. Aim at the ground to deploy. All right, what does this do? Oh, it's like a jump pad. Whee! <laughs> Uh-oh. Enemy harvesters. Get dead, robots. Get some. Levi, the intruding harvesters have been eliminated. Outstanding. Damn right. Return to your outpost immediately and prepare for battle. All right, time to go to outpost five. Prepare for battle. So our outpost essentially is, uh, well, in the full game... Or rather, later, it'll be like a uh, defensive position, like a uh, large wall, a tower. Now, we can arm with all sorts of different things, like uh, dual 40mm bofers, phalanx guns, uh, maybe even battleship turrets. But for now, we have ourselves a uh, battleship, essentially a land ship, that has been uh, outfitted to the nines. Check this out. Yeah! This is what we got access to. Looks like it can move anyway. Oh, maybe it's stationary, but it certainly looks like it could move. It looks like a tank to me, baby. Look at that. We got 40 millimeters phalanx and a 406 millimeter big O battleship turret up there. Plus, when we go into these areas, this actually uh, makes it so we can fight more effectively. So we get a bonus for staying near our uh, our ship. So that'll be good. All right, let's head towards the target area, Z4. M to enter command mode. All right, while command uh, in command mode, you can select the outpost and components to activate their effects. Begin by manufacturing ammunition and activating the outpost turrets. Okay, make uh, ammo over at the ammo maker, right there next to us. Everyone, this is the general speaking. ROS has detected our presence in this area. A mechano strike force is imminent. All outposts, prepare for immediate action. Get ready to fire at will. It all comes down to this moment. Fight to the end. For our deeds today shall echo in eternity. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can deploy your support facilities to strengthen your perimeter. Support facilities only can be built inside of an X-Boost field. Now let's build an auto turret. All right, then. Uh, let's see. Mission complete. Activate turrets in command mode. Good. And there's our turret right there. Small artillery formation. And there's some of our uh, ammo, too. Let's go ahead and build this artillery platform. We'll face that forward. Contact! Enemies here already? Barely getting started. Scorpion wave. Enemy dropships. Open fire! Oh, hell yeah. We're getting them. Enemy over Hold the line! Woo! 
Hell yeah, brother. Rip and dip. Oh, that's a big old tank right there. Oh, man. Light them up. Incoming missiles. Got him. Cover. Enemy reinforcements. Time to test out these new cataphracts. Cataphracts? As you progress, you'll unlock new ways to play, including on the fly switching to command mode to command the outpost and support units. Uh, piloting cataphracts or engaging personally in combat. Oh, like a drone? All right. Where are these things? Oh, I can build more turrets if I want to. Uh, looks like there's even like a display mode. Oh, wow. I don't think we have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hold the place and protect the core tower. That's our main objective. Okay, looks like there is a little lull in the action. What else we got? Close in weapon system. Yeah, the main gun firing. Check this out. So here's our RTS mode, essentially. And we can tell uh, all of our guns where to fire. What? Oh my god! What the hell is that? It's a million of them. Open fire, boys! Yeah! Oh no, no. Oh god, no. There's too many of them. I'm bailing out. They're in my hair. They're in my hair. <laughs> They're choking me out. Hold them back, boys. Wow, how the hell did we do that? Those weren't in the fucking report! No, they were not! Get some more ammo. We're getting our asses kicked by unknown hostiles! Hell yeah, we are. They're disguised as our own. Well, what the hell? Outpost 5's emergency Promethean field activated. What? They nuked us, bro! How the hell am I supposed to fight against that? Run, Cooper! More contacts! Run Battle where? Run. Oh my god. Run, I'll hold them up. Retreat, Cooper! That's in order! Sorry. Where they at? Fuck you, sorry! Retreat to the back of the battlefield immediately! Oh, what? Oh, now it's got missiles? Look at this thing. I'm getting out of my tank. Last stand, baby. Ah! They're sending another wave. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm out of ammo. I'm not leaving, damn it. Are you giving up? Oh. The hell is that? Foolish insects. You will pay for your treachery. Save your fleeting breaths. For the ground you tread on shall be your grave. Oh no. It's over. It's still hope, Don't let it die.
ended in failure. Two of our outposts lie in ruins. Dawn has fallen. The Mechanos have locked down Stronghold Zero in an attempt to eradicate us for good. But we never gave up. The swath of barren waste has now become a beacon of our new hope. We gathered all the weapons we could find and headed toward our new home in the hopes of keeping the fight alive. Five years later, a new base rose from the ashes. Codename, Phoenix. From the cinders, so too shall we be reborn. So this is five years after the failure of Starfall, the final defense. To the command interface. Validating now. But yet somehow humanity stands. Successful. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Fay. Outpost 11 is standing by for your orders. Please report to the CIC immediately. The CIC, the Combat Information Center? The casualty report is here. 32 dead, 6 missing. We're the only ones left. Uh -oh. Get the list to Colonel Roland. We're tagging along with Outpost 4 back to the front lines. Yes, sir. Do you still have the recording of our battle with the Kronos? Yes. I will not let our brother's death be in vain. Well, doesn't seem very good hu for humanity at all. Oh, and here's the battle map. Great. So wherever we are now, I'm assuming it's that giant structure there and that we're more than likely surrounded yet again. And it's going to be a bad time for humanity. Let's see if we can go uh, find that CIC. Head towards the elevator is our objective. All right. So we must have built this deep underground somewhere. Faye, the new commander for Outpost 11. I heard this is his first actual combat. First actual combat, wow. Hey, bro. I heard you got some booze. I'm busy. I'm still waiting for the shipment of alloy component from Andy. Andy. Last night, when he was protecting Outpost 8, they were bombarded by Aitos. He might not be perfect. Oh. oh, right. Oh, boy. Oh, cool. One minute, and you've lost your leg. I'd say that's a fair trade for 19 elites, as long as I get to keep my eyes. A lot of logistics going on. At ease, Trooper. Commander, the target area is currently clear of hostile ratings. Good luck out there. Thank you. Oh, uh... There we go. That was a hell of an intro. Head towards the surface. That's where we are now. And now towards the CIC. Well, look at all the dropships heading out. Give them hell, boys. Give them hell. It's been five years. Today, we retake the fight back to SEAL. Those who stand beside you might be old faces or new arrivals. But in this wretched world, we are one of the same. Together, we shall march towards the bitter end as brothers. Bitter end? Let our legacy propel humanity to its final triumph. Yeah, hell yeah. Let We're going to triumph, baby. Become the embers that ignite the fires of hope. Wow, what is that thing?
All right. Our daughter is still so little. Take it easy. Most of the enemies are A lot of things going on, that's for sure. Commander Fay of Outpost 11 reporting in. Fay, your mission is to retrieve the control core located in the valley ahead. Once you have it, Outpost 11 will be able to assist you in combat remotely. You'll be a one man army with a can of serious whoop ass. You can expect enemy resistance in the valley. Once you have the control core, install it into your outpost immediately. Activate auto defense mode and prepare for a fight. Matt is preparing outpost 11 as we speak. Go find him. Copy that. All right, ask Matthew to unload outpost 11. Send for Outpost 11. Here you are, brother. You're even younger than me when I became commander. Really? I'm impressed. Here's the outpost you've been craving. Well, thank you. Let's go take command of Outpost 11, then. That looks like it right there. better hurry then okay so here we can build onto our defense any way we want of course we're gonna add different types of weapons sort of what we saw before with different types of um, like mini guns and auto turrets mortars grenade launchers a couple things we've already got here ready to go armed to the teeth well lightly but that's what we will be when we're done Alright, let's inspect the all-terrain carrier. The walls and floor tiles make up the majority of the outpost's main structure. And the walls? Supporting weapon systems and shrugging off attacks. Weapons can be deployed on flat surfaces. You also have one ammo producer to replenish ammunition. I'm gonna want that, I think. A little cooldown on it, I, I believe. And the all-terrain carrier. The all-terrain carrier is the load-bearing section of the outpost. The mechanical legs will carry the outpost on any terrain. For safety oh. reasons, the base is just to save us. So now I'll be if you on the mission. You must reach three target zones within the valley to recover the control core's components. Place them all in the container and wait for it to link up with the outpost core. Once that's done. Activate the outpost. Roger that. Okay, we got our uh, basic core gun. Some extra ammo. Oh, and some chocolate. Look at that. Tasty. <laughs> oh, nice. Actually, there's like a little bit of a survival stat then. You know, like having to eat to get a little bonus, I guess. Not really, but... Okay, so this thing apparently can walk around. I guess it uh, buries its legs underground and gives us a flat surface to build a base on. Then eventually we'll move around to different parts of the map. So the set dressing is great. The desert looks wonderful. I love the futuristic buildings. I, I think this, I really think this stuff looks amazing. I look at isometric art uh, and artists on Twitter all the time who are doing all sorts of things that looks like this. And it's really cool. But not these robots. Excuse me, gentlemen. I was explaining something. Jeez. You too. There we go. All right, robots got to die. They interrupted my story. Okay, let's let's head out to the uh, three little core sections. Maybe we can find some stuff at bases like these. Maybe there's ammo. Maybe a new gun. Possibly. Looks kind of barren. All right, let's go up. Climb the cliff. There's one we'll get on our way back. Oh, 
Looks like we're blocked out from going this way. All right. Plan B, then. Oh, look at that. A little bunker. Oh, there's got to be some supply in there, right? If we can get inside. Looks kind of uh, defunct. Oh, there we go. An artillery shell. Okay. So, I guess it pays to look around and get a little distracted. That's what I always do. Okay, let's get these core pieces. I wanted to jump over the cliff. But, I guess we'll go this way. Ooh, we found gold. Commonly used in the wasteland. Yeah, it could be used for, like, electronic components. Enhance ammunition. You've obtained a, ze a zen. Hold Q to open the core gun menu and imbue it with zen to modify your weapon. Okay. Ooh. All right, let's imbue. Then we'll pew pew now that we've imbued. Holding a weapon, press Q. Infuse it with Zen to enhance its effect while firing. Ah, oh, yeah. So it's like a little temporary maybe weapon power up. Okay. Beep, beep. The first fully customizable outpost. All modular parts and detachable weapons. No permanent structure. No fixed control circuitry. I can't believe they actually built this thing. But if you don't find a control core, this thing will be nothing but a heap of scrap. One day, I'm gonna zip that bloody mouth of yours. Relax. It's a reverse jinx. Here she is. Outpost 11. Take care of her. Ooh. I'll be taking up a defense position. Die, in robot. <laughs> Punched him. All right, let's keep looking around. Got to be some good stuff in here somewhere. Place the control core inside the container and brace yourself for the coming onslaught. Oh. Looks like the onslaught's already here. Oh, right. We can actually loot lockers and stuff. Cool. Oh, toilet paper. That stuff must be gold in the post-apocalyptic era. So I think we can look around for days for stuff, but uh, let's just get back to base. Plus, the enemy's got an attack coming soon, so we should probably get ready for that. Uh-oh. Alright, we found everything we need. Let's head on back. RTB ASAP. Hi there. More trouble. There we go. Nice. A weapon crate. Whoa! Standard core gun. Is that the exact same we have? Uh, looks like standard is better than basic. At least in some aspects. Let's go with that. A little extra damage. Can we imbue this one as well? Not at the moment. Alright, back to the base. Hell yeah, brother. Let's get these upgrades going. So, the control core. Times three. And recover. Two enemy forces entering the firing zone. What? Defend the outpost. Uh-oh. I'm not even ready for this. Automated defenses activated. Oh, this gun has like a really slow fire rate. That's as fast as she'll shoot. Get him 50 cows, let's go. Uh oh, we need ammo. Fifty percent. Oh, that's fast. One hundred percent. Now let's see what you've got. One hundred and one percent. What? Two hundred percent. There's a lot of numbers going on now. Zero percent. So what? Uh oh. Estimated time 300 seconds. 
It's five minutes. What is going on, Faye? I can't even the do anything. I can't make ammo. It takes five minutes to reconfigure. I will deal with this wave. ZRX to unleash uh, phase skills. Charged fire. Unlimited ammo for a brief period. Instant cooldown greatly reduces cooldown of equipped Zen. Alright. Give me extendo ammo then. I think my barrel's about to burst. How is it coming along? Reconfiguration completed. Authenticated. In better work this time. Hold the line. They're getting closer. Oh, that's a big one. Hi there. Oh, tank? Very bad. Override successful. Temporary access granted. Defensive weapons online. Oh, good. Can what? I make some ammo? Oh, I need materials. Fire. Who knew this big girl could become so nimble with the control core? Who are you? Artificial intelligence model Eden 9 at your service. Wow. I will aid you in the fight against SEAL. Nice job. An AI to fight another AI? Requesting permanent control access for ease of battlefield operations. Do you consent? Ooh. Uh. Everything okay, Faye? No. Uh, there's something you should see. What's the holdup? You better get your ass moving before Levi. All units, Outpost One is now entering the battle. You're screwed. Wait, who the hell's Levi? Oh, good thing I healed. Man, I hear the last time Levi blew a fuse like that was eight years ago, or so the rumors go. At least I have my own outpost now. The recovery fleet is on its way. We'll deal with any pursuers. You might need to mop up a few hunting packs to get through. Fight on and bring your outpost back in one piece. Commander, requesting permanent control access to the outpost. Please respond. Remove the repair granted. muzzle. Establishing an exclusive calm channel with your wristband for real time assistance. We're giving the Request AI set. control? Please respond. That didn't work out many Commander times Faye before. Of outpost 11, line established. Thank you for your trust. I will do my best to assist you in future battles. How's that is the outpost my primary doing? directive. Critical I damage cannot detected. override it. Marking three locations I that see. demand immediate repairs. Cool, so we can actually pull some of the guns off their turrets and then, like, actually use them ourselves. For the past few days, I've been nervous about you being... You are in your right to be wary of AIs. My presence should not be made public as of now. You sure know a lot. <laughs> Style points on that one. Oh good, now we can make some more ammo. Perfect. So the last defense was kind of a... A little bit of a warm-up. Alright, use ammo crates to replenish ammunition for turrets. Which ones are... Uh, wow, look at this old equipment here. Oh, we can actually, like, harvest stuff from these? Awesome. Like, old modern equipment. It's like, uh... LAVs and... Like, old artillery pieces and stuff out here. I think I saw some trucks and maybe a uh, Abrams out there earlier, too. When we were running around, I think there were Abram tanks out there. Alright, what else we gotta reload up there? Okay. Cool, so we can salvage stuff in the field, and then we can make ammo out of it. And it looks like when we defeat enemy waves, we can do the same, too. Alright, he's ready to rock. One more. Do I need another crate for that? I very well might. Just threw a tantrum. 
And now he's acting like nothing happened. Enter command mode from your wristband. All right, cool. Some more supplies in our pocket. And then what? In command mode, you can deploy support facilities and control them during combat. Cool. The Titan spike can enhance the output of the core tower, boosting the turret damage. It may also be switched to offensive mode to electrocute nearby enemies. More ammo makers. There's the Titan spike they mentioned. Uh, where should we put that? I guess maybe... Well, there's uh, a couple other ones here, so let's put this one in the middle, maybe. There we go. Three of them together. Uh, we need to build one more. Uh, we'll put it in the back. Next, please deploy the stake walls. Ooh, stake okay. Walls. What are they for? The mechanos will mindlessly attack cool. all defensive structures near the outpost. Stake walls not only draw enemy fire, they also damage enemies that come in contact with them. Yeah. Now we should be more than capable of handling the upcoming attack. Lures their attention away. Great. Outpost 11 to recovery fleet. Defenses are all set. You can begin your work now. Combat mode activated. So this is all the base building part, which takes place before Enemy some of the battles, but obviously battle. we're going to be able to do a lot more later on when we kind of get the training wheels off, when we're earning a lot more points doing stuff on our own. Alright, let them have it, boys. Get materials from that too. Oh, we're gonna be able to level up. Make some more ammo. More enemy attacks. What? We recovered the control core. We can build a new outpost 11. We can't afford to wait another six months. The EUA won't be able to cover your retreat. I will break out with my outpost. So that is, we're violating orders. We're going to get court, court martialed. Choice commander. I'm sorry, but I... I will aid you to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Let's begin. Enemy signatures detected. Prepare for battle. All right, keep holding. On ammo again. Oh my god, they're firing artillery. if we need any repairs. Pieces on the ridge are helping us. Ah. Those are artillery positions left from the pre war era. Alright, when selecting artillery, use uh, Z to select bombardment location. You never cease to amaze me. It's time for some payback. Hell yeah, it is. Get that arty party going, baby. 
Oh, we gotta select the artillery and then press Z to target each individual gun. Ah, I see. Oh, would you look at that? All enemies have been eliminated. Oh, wrecked. We That's actually very cool. Let's get out of here. Did I reload this? Calling any available transport. This is Helen Dubois. I am landing near your position. Dubois? Perfect timing. Merci. Ever cut comms on me again. You can kiss your commander career goodbye. Levi, I was only trying to... <sighs> Outpost 8 and 10 have also eliminated enemy reinforcements. Your way out is clear. Take Outpost 11 home, Faye. Good work today. See you at the base. Yes, sir. We did it. Head towards the aircraft, all right. Goodbye, outpost. I love you. Tour complete. So yeah, again, remember, we can play this in multiplayer. It's co-op, so the damage that we do, support, and other conditions and such can all be reported at the end of battle. So yeah, you can definitely compete for the top spot, or of course, well, war is not always one-to-one. -one. Hey, cool. All right, we brought back all that stuff. After a journey across half the continent, this place better be amazing. Hmm. You should be thankful this place looks decrepit. It's the only way the underground infrastructure managed to evade any unwanted Mechano's attention. We put the equipment here to good use. Only took us three years to build the whole facility. Three years? You've got to be shitting me. This place here is the only reason we still have a foothold. This is where we end this work, kid. We aren't here to play around. Outpost 11 has reached the hangar. Initiating maintenance and repairs. Damn, three years? Go to the Nexus. Oh yeah, there's our outpost. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if we can customize it on the in-between. Damn. It'd be kind of cool to do a pre-build here. Music, by the way, is outstanding. It is so triumphant and glorious. Really cool. So we went from uh, humanity's last stand to humanity failing to humanity uh, on its last stand again and humanity succeeding. Now it's time to bring the fight back to the uh, robots, I suppose. All right, let's talk with our friend. Is 3rd Division still dark? Yes. The Mechanos Intel Network has recently just enveloped the border woodland. They'll be able to track any usage of radio. We can only hope our boots on the ground will establish contact soon. I see. They're some tough ones, and they will do their duty. All we can do now is believe in them. Roger that. This is the core of the base. Commanders can go on missions, plan their strategies, and manage their operatives here. Now. Let's get ready for your first tour. Head to the barracks and complete the battle preparation. Once that's done, get ready to move out. Roger that. Nice. All right, go to the barracks. That'd be that away. Ah, through the research center. Very cool elevator, man.
Whoa. Damn. Vending machines. Ooh, we even recycle here too. Nice. Wow. We got like a gym. I wonder if there's like a day spawn, a place to maybe get like a, I don't know, manicure pedicure. Hello, Sophia. SN41512, Faye Pratt reporting for duty. Spare it. I'm not your superior officer anymore. If it weren't for your strict training regimes, I might have not made it this far. I was simply doing my job. Let's cut to the chase. You were here for your battle prep? Uh, you may vi oh, uh, gears grant defense and provide improvements to combat performance. Your backpack space is limited. Plan what you bring carefully. Ah, place the ammo crates inside your backpack. Gonna need them later. Okay, so we can uh, bring things and store things here. So if we go to our backpack, yep, got ourselves adaptive armor. I think we can put that on. I hope. And we have ourselves the oh, a basic core gun again, but. I think our standard one we found out in the field is a little better, so we'll just go with that. Uh, they did mention, though, ammo crates, so we'll need that. And hopefully that's everything. Talk with Sophia again. That should do it. Go score us a win. Don't let all your hard work go to waste. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There it is. Head to the Windy Desert and recover the MG turret barrel. Okay. So it looks like as we go across the uh, world map, or whatever uh, may await us, the different areas of this base, we'll be gathering more weapons, more upgrades, obviously we'll be researching stuff too, and leveling up. I haven't even figured out how to use our skills yet. Uh, we did actually get a skill. There must be a way to actually spend that too. So lots of cool stuff to do. All right, there's our tour mode. Commander of Outpost 11. Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Cool. Ooh, support pack. Oh, I see the devs given some uh, gifts in the meantime as they... Oh, that's very nice. You know, with a lot of early access games and small team games, they always are listening to feedback to change things. Oh, that is all the time we have today for Outpost Infinity Siege. Certainly a lot more to see in this one, a lot more depth when it comes to upgrading our base, upgrading our character, and also some co-op. So check it out with the link down below in the description. And thanks again to all of you for watching. Please do leave a like and glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section. I'll be hearting all your comments, so thank you very much for leaving a comment. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See you soon.